Now, the lead up to this has been both emotional and polarizing, to say the least. It has. Uh, supporters and protesters are both vowing to be out in full force. As you can see, people are already heading into the Target Center. Some people have been waiting hours to get inside. John Croman is at the epicenter of it all inside the Target Center. John. Hey, they're not just heading in, they're in. We've got thousands of people inside the Target Center right now. And as you mentioned, they waited in long lines to get here. Many traveled great distances to be here to see President Trump and kind of get be part of this uh, pep rally for Republicans and the president here at the Target Center. Now, some of the things we're expecting to hear from the president tonight, here are some of the talking points that you know are going to be custom made for the Minneapolis market. We will hear him talk about Minneapolis crime. We'll also hear him talk about one of his favorite uh, targets, rhetorical targets, uh, Representative Ilan Omar. This is the city that she represents in Congress. Um, you'll hear him talk a lot about our mayor, Mayor Jacob Fry. Uh, he, uh, of course, got on the wrong side of the president uh, for several things, uh, including the uh, police uniform decision, deciding to enforce the rule that off-duty officers would not be allowed to wear their uniforms at a political rally, and it was timed with this one. But you'll also hear the president express hope that he can do what he almost did in 2016, which is flip Minnesota from red to blue, which would be the first time it uh, will have been done. If it is done, it'll be the first time since 1972 when Richard Nixon beat George McGovern and Nixon was running for re-election. So uh, this rally is going to start about three hours from now. And from our camera vantage point, uh, the place we're restricted, you won't be able to see the entire crowd. Because believe me, right now, there's people to the side of me on both sides and people behind the photographer. Uh, this place is full of people wearing red Trump shirts and a lot of those uh, Cops for Trump shirts are here as well, those things that sold like hotcakes offered by the Police Federation.